Merry Christmas and I hope this guy gets to you very soon. Um, thank you so much for your order and thank you. Hopefully she'll keep you entertained through a whole lot of time. This is a look at your puppet and how to use your puppet. So you can see me moving, that's the puppet and I love those feathers at the back. I don't normally do that but I ran out of the pink feathers so I ended up giving you an ostrich which moves lovely. Look at that. Um, so this is her on her shoulder, nice and smooth. I've got a magnet underneath so I would suggest using the magnet for this guy. She seems to want to move around a lot. So there you go. Um, so how to use your puppet in the box. You get the puppet, you get a plate and you get a magnet. I'm probably going to give you a bigger magnet than this guy. Um, you take off the um, plastic coating there. It's just to protect it while I'm shipping it. Um, bend it so that the metal plate is placing up. Bend it with your fingers in two places around here and here so that it goes over your shoulder around the curve of your shoulder. If you're wearing the magnet, um, put it underneath so that it's underneath the topmost layer and that's how you use it. So when you're going out, like everyone, we like to do exercise every day. So with your puppet. Oh, you see my tail? No, you see me on your wing. Um, so with the exercise your puppet, um, first just make sure that you grab it between the feathers, not at the feathers. And just give it a bit of pull back just to make sure all the cords are out of the way. Um, exercise the puppet, you grab the puppet, you just turn his head side to side. Gives him a bit of stress stretches the fur and make sure it's really free to move. There should be no sort of, um, you should be able to do that pretty easily. Both sides. If it's a bit harder, then maybe some of the fur has gotten in the way of the cords. So there's that. Um, also, if you've had it in a box for a while, the cord might not be straight. So you want to grab the cord. That will stop, if it's cord's not straight, it will stop the side to side motion. So you want to uncurl it just by going gently through the cord and just going against the, just pushing it lightly against the bend of the um, cord. Same with this, if this starts to bend, which it may result to its original shape, which is a bit around a coil. So you just want to give it a little bit of a, uh, so hold on to this, it's the ground bit that sometimes want to resort back to its curly in the tube that it came from. So just kind of pull it back, make sure everything's nice and straight. If everything's nice and straight, everything should work properly, like it is now. Um, but sometimes being in a box for a long time can make them curl up a little bit with the heat especially in Australia, because you guys are from Australia. You can see I've got magnet on underneath. You can see that hear, hear that connection. That's when the two magnets align, and that should be nice and strong on your shoulder. To get it, to get it to move, push down, it will look up, push down, it will look up. You can let go and it should, some of them stay, some of them look, look down over time. You can also pull it back down. So that's how to look it up and down. That's a turn. It's like opening a bottle of Coke. So hold, turn once, hold, turn, and you should get it to turn, a combination of that, and then let go, and it should go back to the middle, and turn back the other way, and a combination of that with the up and down, so I'm pushing down, and I'm turning, and I'm looking up, so a combination of that, you can get it to move, and also bending forward, and making it look up, and then bending back, you can also make it look a bit real. This one's got a slight wing shift, when wing jitter when I move it, which makes it even look a bit more real because those wings kind of move and give a bit more attention to your bird as it moves. Thank you very much for watching. I will get this in a um, post ASAP. Thank you.